So what happened to the, the smartest the genius boy at the age of two he could recite Chinese classic? Anyway, well, at the age of three, they say, so I don't know whether they meant Korean age, but it's more likely Western age, but I doubt the, they were using the age system like that but doing Korean history you have to keep refreshing the knowledge because it was heavily influenced by so-called the government or Ministry of Education and then how you teach certain things so it depending on who is in power unfortunately so anyway they the smartest boy, genius boy, who could recite, memorize a whole uh, Chinese classics. He developed fear for his father, who demanded uh, such perfection from such a young age, and he never allowed him to play outside, just to study all the time. So this unrealistic um, expectation played a havoc with the health of this prince and uh, eventually he developed um, violence. First he developed anxiety and he couldn't face his father. He always didn't know what to do with himself and then he doesn't stand straight. So then father will be unhappy seeing him so not confident. But he's the one who causing him like that. Anyway, eventually, his condition was become too bad. He started even killing people, you see. And then the, at the time, the factions, the powerful faction uh, group was Noron. So Noron faction was keep... Um, appealing to the king that you have to annul the um, heir to the throne because he's not fit to be uh, the future king and but already this group of people was spreading the rumors about oh king is gonna change the heir of the throne and all this uh, releasing all this nasty rumors around in the palace and make this prince very insecure and uncertain anyway so when things got so bad he killed so many people in the night he'd go out and then ride a horse and then kill and the uh, father ordered him threw the knife in front of him saying kill yourself kill yourself for your honor and he asked for forgiveness and asked for pardon but the king wouldn't hear of it then okay if you can kill yourself i will ask uh, i will ask officials bring a grain chest so he brought it he made um, <coughs> officials bring the grain chest and then he asked him to crawl in onto, into that so he went in and then it's nailed but fortunately there was a little hole at the back so a servant was providing him with water and one night something to eat and his son the future king his son is king jongjo my favorite king but i will do it next time his his son would come and talk to his dad through the hole where the king Yongjo found out so he asked them to seal all the holes and then he actually physically stayed next to the chest made sure nobody can approach him so i don't know how how long he stood there but i mean depending on what i read he's he made sure he doesn't get anything so he died after seven days um it's such a shocking story so i never be able to talk about it 
I always say, genius boy or the man and the father. I can't bring myself King Nyongjo and the Crown Prince, you know, Sado. I cannot. But once I talk about father and the son, then next following consecutive time, I am always able to talk their names, uh, their titles. So it's such a horrendous story, and especially the wife of this uh, grain chest mm, death <sighs> prince. He, she wrote diaries, many different versions she lived until quite uh, late in her age so the, when her son became or son became king she was more brave to tell the tales previously she was very quiet careful imagine if anything goes she might get killed and his son might get killed so he, he know she knows she lost her husband but she wants to keep her son she wants to keep her son safe and then she asked the grandfather or father-in-law or grandfather to this child say take him to educate him to properly so he has to leave home to go to the and stay near the king it's a very very horrendous story i think worst story in joseon history as far as the prince concerned but of course joseon history sometimes you don't want to know it's so barbaric anyway so today it's about crown prince uh, Sado Seja. Bye.